Are we really in North America tonight? Yes, we are. For now. For now. It might be Costa Rica soon. Maybe. Only time will tell, but thank you for tuning in. Friday, August 9th, 10.34 p.m. on 92.5 WLSD The Vault. WLSDRadio.com, 1220 a.m. And uh, just finished up a, I thought it was a pretty decent uh, real talk. But please go to, uh, if you have Spotify, Apple Music, iTunes, there's many other platforms that we're on. Please go and just give us a good rating on the show. Much appreciated. Viewership is up. Audience participation is up. And uh, it, it, it humbles me and uh, huh, brings a tear to my eye. It really does because I really enjoy bringing the show to you all. And I do hope that you all have, a, uh, have had a great week. And uh, before we continue, uh, I want to give a shout out to a friend. He's a really good person. And he's... Um, He has uh, run across some hard times lately, so uh, he uh, he's a, a big listener of uh, Steve Rock's show, and he, and he enjoys the other people's show, so we want to give a, a shout-out and a moment just for Wes. So yeah, for those that uh, pray or send out... Uh, Wishes, well wishes, and, and good thoughts. Please do that for Wes. He's uh, going through some turbulent times, but he's going to make it through. So, yeah, we're there for you, Wes. Lana and I got to see him today, and that was uh, that was a blessing. But I do hope that everyone has had a great week and a great day. It's going to be a short show tonight, but uh, we're going to bring you entertainment all that we can. Now, I did have a pretty decent itinerary lined up for tonight. But I do want to stay, save that for Steven, so we're not going to get into those topics tonight. But I do want to talk a little bit about uh... you know, for those watching tonight, the camera view is a little bit better. Uh, so please go check that out. And there's going to be some, uh, some new backdrops and stuff soon. But it really has been such a, a hot and humid summer, or it's been nothing but hot humidity or continuous rain. And, uh, I'm fine with that. I got to be honest with you. Like I've said many, many times, I'm not a fan of the winter. I get cold. I'm, I'm skinny. I'm thin as a rail. So I shiver. And I get cold. But I'll, sh I'll share with you a little secret that, that I've been doing lately. So I, I think I mentioned a few weeks back, maybe four weeks ago, I started a little bit of a, of a, uh, of a fast. And I've started a little bit of a fast because as anyone with a common sense knows, we have, you know, um, prices are high. Um, they're high because of incompetence. So that means that some people uh, are going to have to eat less because the, the price of food and the price of everything is astronomical. So 
I began a fast, which was just consisting of, uh, you know, water. Uh, I'm now more than ever seem to be addicted to iced coffee <laughs> and traveling for it. It was pointed out to me, which I secretly knew, that, and I digress, uh, but I'll get into this, that I travel to, to get coffee sometimes. I, I sometimes go down to the 404 Creamery in uh, Big Stone Gap. I sometimes travel to um, this place up in uh, New England. I don't tell anyone about it. I'm like, they're like, what do you do? What did you do today? Well, you know, I got me some coffee, and they're like, oh, you you went to you know you went to St. Paul to get some coffee. You went to Starbucks and get some coffee. I really went to Maine. Really went. That's that's how addicted I am. I'm driving 16, 17 hours to get some coffee, and then I just don't tell anyone. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But I am addicted to that a little bit uh, on my fast days, and then. You know, I find honestly after probably about three days of the fasting that I'm really not that hungry anymore. Uh, or, you know, sometimes during the fasting I'll do a little cheat and I'll have maybe some uh, some crackers. Or I was eating pepperonis. But I got some pepperonis the other day. And apparently where it was, you know, 125 degrees from the store to my apartment... They apparently got hot and greasy. And and I tried to eat one, and it was just kind of mush and greasy. And when that happens to me, I'm not able to just throw that away and eat pepperonis again. It'll take a little while for me to be able to get them. Uh, because I don't know. I'm like that. I, I It's hard for me to do things like that. With... I don't know, just like with the phobias and things. I digress again. But with the fasting, I've kind of segued into the uh, carnivore diet, which is, you know, eating probably the the cheapest on sale steaks that I can find that are like running out of date today or tomorrow. And then I'll eat... Five of them. I mean, I don't eat them all at one time, and I don't eat them raw. I'm not. I'm not to that point, but I do cook them in the uh, the George Foreman grill, which is a great grill, by the way. Thank you, George. We appreciate that. That could have been Hulk Hogan's grill, but Hulk Hogan had went with an energy drink that failed, and George Foreman went with um, the George Foreman grill, and you don't even hear of Hulk's Hulk Hogan's uh, drink. Because it failed. But anyway, so I, I used that. And then, uh, like today, you know, I did have a, uh, when we went over to see West, we went into this little cafeteria type place and they actually had some sandwiches. And uh, Atlanta got some sushi, I think, and uh, chips and, you know, candy and cookies, things like that. But I was able to find, I think it was just a ham sandwich. It didn't have cheese, no lettuce, no mayo, no mustard. All it was was ham and bread. So that's what I had today. And some pretzels. I did have some pretzels. And I, I got to be honest, at now sitting here after eating for like two days, I do feel a little bit hungry. But I do feel energized. Energized as I always have. And I actually, I feel a little bit more energized. And that brings me to my next topic. Now, I'm not sure if, if anyone out there has an abundance and an abundance and an abundance of energy over and over and over a lot of the time. And I do. And you would think, well, you must be on something. You must be... No, not at all. I'm on a high of life. I like to think that, but it's always, I've always felt honestly like it's, uh, you only, you only have this one life and in only having this one life, I want to try to live. And I know it's impossible for anyone to live every single moment, not just 
exist or endure. I want to try to live it, try to move forward, even if those moving forward steps is one, two, three, forward, one back, two forward, one back, four forward, three back. I want it to mean something. And I want it to be working for something, towards something. And, you know, it might be that I'm, I'm wired a little bit differently. It's, it could be my priorities are a little bit different. I don't know. I know I've always seemed to have lived on the fringes of society. Now, not like in the gutter or, you know, in abandoned a trailer or something like that. But I've done it to myself. Always being the the independent on the outside of the the fringes, never, I guess, could have been actually in the inside and it, have been invited to the table of the inside over and over and over throughout my life. But it's never been a place where it's felt comfortable. Outside looking in has always felt where I felt most comfortable. But I've also set myself up for that. That being said, I would recommend this carnivore diet because there's several several things that you can um, eat. And like the other day, I'd forgotten about this. Um, it was the uh, like eggs, steak and eggs, and that's something you know I have had steak and eggs many times before. But it was, I think it was, I think Lana made these steak and eggs and put this little, these little pieces of turkey sausage or something, which I will say this, I went a little overboard yesterday with, with, uh, with the diet, because I think yesterday it was like four, maybe five steaks. And then, uh, I ended up preparing the rest of these little they were turkey sausage so they were probably about tur turkey sausage links so I probably made about 12 to 14 of those so <laughs> that was a lot of uh, things yesterday but you know you can eat a lot of things you can eat uh, fish meat other animals and I have lost about 11 pounds doing the fasting and then incorporating this, which, you know, I was trying to do that a little bit, but this will help. Uh, this is supposed to help with the uh, mood issues, blood sugar regulation. It'll aid weight loss. Um, and it's, it's a, a very low carb, high fat diet. And it just allows animal products and water. Now there's certain tweaks that I'm doing to it, if I want to have a gummy worm or a bag of gummy worms, I will have a bag of gummy worms. But what I won't do is have two bags of gummy worms or gummy worms every single day, because that's just ridiculous. I'm, I'm. Am, can you get too old for gummy worms? I don't know. I don't think so. But I'm not going to eat them every day. Just like if you go back and you look probably four to five months ago, on occasion, you would see in studio, like right now, it's water. And I typically drink a lot of water per day. But you would see Red Bull sitting there. Orange one, green one, or the red one. And I think near the end, it might have been the blue one too. You don't see that anymore. It's like 80... It's 79 days with no Red Bull, which is over $320 saved if you purchase one Red Bull at $4, 5 cents, 10 cents every day. So stop the Red Bull. Stop the soda. That's what I'm saying. That's what I think you should do. I think it would be beneficial to everyone. I really do. Uh, we're going to take a little pause here, and I'm going to play a song from Stephen Murray's album, Rituals. 
And like I said, I really do think this is an album that you all are going to like. I've seen him perform with uh, Solo and with Das Novus multiple times. And he was in, I think he was in last summer also. And played uh, a song as well. So I'm going to play the song called No Matter Where You Go. This is Stephen Murray on the other people on 92.5 WLSD, The Vault. I know tonight you must be leaving I know the days will feel like Remember how I am breathing Next to you beneath the sheets And how I whispered that from his new album Rituals which uh, I think it's going to be coming up very soon he's going to be on the show in the upcoming uh, weeks so yeah thank you all for tuning in tonight it's been a great night please uh, do some research on that carnivore diet I would uh, highly recommend that and I would also highly recommend go checking out the movie Long Legs again if you haven't seen that movie I highly recommend it I've seen it twice Uh, I wouldn't mind seeing it again in a completely pitch black room, no sound except the sound of the movie, and a lot of the movie is kind of quiet, and uh, 
let's just see what happens because there's a lot of things that I've read that I missed the first two times and I want to see if I can pick up on it, which would only enhance and frighten the the viewer. So please, uh, please do that. Thank you for checking out this show. Please go to all the social medias, the Facebook, YouTube, Spotify, TikTok, and Instagram, the other people's show. We're going to leave you tonight with another Stephen Murray song. But I do want you all, like I said, to please keep our friend Wes in your thoughts and your prayers. Uh, we know you're going to get better, Wes, and uh, we all are thinking of you and love you. So uh, thank you all. This is Stephen Murray with Darkest Night on The Other People Show. I can't escape this hold you got. You made a man. Just to thank you for turning the sorry man true. And I've been told the longer that you live alone, the colder.